And now, marine weather around Alaska. Tonight's uh, forecast with uh, low pressure weakening as it tracks eastward here into the southern Cuscombe Valley from the southwest coast currently. And uh, so winds and showers will start to diminish here over the Alaska Peninsula. Next system pushing rain and wind from the western Aleutians in toward uh, Adak and eventually Atka. Weak uh, front approaching the Arctic coast there with a little bit of moisture. And this front uh, brings gusty winds and rain with uh, strongest winds in Lynn Canal later tonight and into tomorrow with less of a chance of wind and rain down to the south. But then tomorrow, some moisture does drag through the southern southeast coast. Looks uh, rather wet and cloudy for the North Gulf Coast area into the northern panhandle as well as back to the west here as this uh, low tracks eastward toward uh, Lake Iliamna. Lots of clouds and showers over interior Alaska, tapering off as you head west here. Chance of rain or snow, light rain or snow in areas there with that weak front from the central Arctic coast back out to the west. And this system bringing uh, gale force winds, gusts 50 miles an hour here over the western Aleutians and rain pushes into the eastern Aleutians. And then that uh, system takes off to the east and we're looking at gale force winds now for the Fox Islands on Thursday with uh, much better conditions out to the west and to the north and uh, even drier over the interior, especially the west side of the state here all the way up to the North Slope and Arctic coast. Chance of some rain and snow showers over toward the northeast areas and a chance of maybe some clearing across southern Alaska with a little bit better chance of some shower activity with low pressure in the Gulf of Alaska. West-southwest flow aloft keeps it cloudy and unsettled for the southeast coast. And for the coastal water forecast for the south coast of the Panhandle, south to southeast winds at 20 knots for tomorrow with uh, central coast southwest at uh, 15 to 20 knots, actually south to southwest winds at 20 here for the south coast. North coast south to southeast at 20 knots. Lynn Canal, south winds 40 knots. East winds 25 knots for Stevens Passage and south at 25 for Clarence Strait. Lighter winds there for the uh, strait on Thursday, south at 10 with seas down to two feet. Stevens Passage, south winds 15 knots. Lynn Canal, southeast at 15. Southern coast here, west southwest at 15. Southwest at 15 on the central coast. And lighter winds up to the north here, south to southeast at 15 to 20 knots. <clears throat> Cook Inlet tomorrow, looking at lighter winds than today. Uh, east at, uh, especially northern Cook Inlet here, east winds 10 knots, southeast 10, southern Cook Inlet, variable at 10 for Kamishak Bay, southwest 15 for the Barren Islands, north Gulf Coast, uh, south winds 15 knots and Prince William Sound, southeast winds at 15 knots. And then for the day on Thursday, north Gulf Coast, basically variable winds, 10 to 15 knots with seas 3 to 5 feet, Prince William Sound, light east wind at 10 knots with 2 foot seas, Cook Inlet, Kamishak Bay, light variable winds at 10 knots with seas two to three feet in the Barren Islands. East winds at 15 knots. Kodiak Island tomorrow, southwest, 25 knots, seas up to 10 feet. West at 25 for Bristol Bay and the Alaska Peninsula here. Stiff west winds at 20 to 30 knots with seas anywhere from five to 10 feet. Then on Thursday, looking at uh, Kind of a squirrely wind pattern here. Looks like low pressure right over the peninsula there. So uh, we've got east to north winds on the Bering Sea side at 25 to 30 knots, and then northeast to east winds at 30 knots on the Pacific side. South to east winds for Kodiak Island at 15 knots. And for the uh, eastern Aleutians tomorrow, <clears throat> south to west winds at 25 to 30 knots. Gale warnings here for Adak and Atka. South to southeast winds at 35 knots with 6 to 11 foot seas there. And out to the west, we've got gale warnings for 25 to 40 knot winds. And then for Thursday, west northwest winds 15 to 25 knots here, kind of increasing from west to or from west to east. 30 knot northwest winds for Adak and Atka with uh, seas running 6 to 9 feet. And gale warnings for the eastern Aleutians for north to northwest winds at 35 knots. Southwest coast tomorrow, northwest winds 10 to 15 knots. Norton Sound, northwest at just 5. And for uh, St. Lawrence Island, 
Northwest at 10, Pribilof Islands, St. Matthew Island, north, or southwest at 15 knots. And then for the day Thursday, St. Matthew Island, light variable winds at 10, seas down to 5 feet, north 15 for the Pribilofs with 5 foot seas, also north at 15 here for the Cuscoquam Delta Coast. St. Lawrence Island, Yukon Delta Coast, northeast at 10 knots, seas 2 feet, east at 5 for Norton Sound with 2 foot seas. And for the central and eastern Arctic coast tomorrow, looking at west winds at 15 knots, west northwest at 10 knots for the western coast, Chukchi Sea, light west winds at 10 knots. And then for Thursday for the Chukchi Sea, north winds 15 knots, west winds at 20 knots for the Arctic coast, a little lighter here, about 15 knots toward Kaktovik and Barter Island.